Uh, it, apparently, so, man, we're going off on a tangent again there. So basically the way this works is, I, I haven't got an issue answering the question, I didn't mean it in a bad way. So basically what it is, is it doesn't affect the, the frames per second, but if you're on a higher refresh rate monitor, um, your the response time is, is quicker. Now, when I bought this monitor, it said that the, the response time, the, the input lag basically, I think it's response time. If you're at 1080p and 60 frames per second is this many milliseconds. The set to say it was nine. When I changed the resolution to the to the high, sorry, the refresh rate to the highest, um, the input lag, the refresh rate, no, 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 no. The, the input delay is reduced to like a lower number. So I think it's like seven for this or something. It's only a small difference, but it is, I say it's significant. Um, should I be honest, from my personal opinion, it, it has made a difference. My conf it's easier to confirm, I noticed that. But outside of confirming, um, I don't think there's much difference. Like I can't check a dash still. <laughs> it hasn't helped me with those sort of things. I think it's those like hit confirms, those like cancels, those really split second things that are different. But if I'm honest, I don't think it's a necessity. I don't think you're gonna have the edge. As long as you've got a decent enough monitor. So my old monitors are 60 Hertz, 1080p. That's good enough for like, you, you know. <laughs> Give him to stop, man. <laughs> It's not, it's it's not. I'm straight. You guys know me, man. I tell I tell you the facts. <laughs> I'm dead. It don't make that. You, if you're gonna, so I, how much is, was this monitor? I think this monitor was about like 400, 500 quid. Um, I'm glad I invested in it, but it wasn't a necessity. If you haven't got the money, or if you're not bothered that much, don't. It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it at all. <laughs> no, it's 19 frames, like a different game. You know, um, this is going way, way back. So I went to, um, I think it's the first time I met Kimti actually. I went to SFO um, whenever it was years back, a couple of years back. And it was actually Qu Quiggy's laptop. Um, he had his laptop at the event. And I noticed on his laptop, it was actually easy to confirm. I was like, oh, there is a, there is a difference. So there is a difference between PS4 and PS4 and PC, without a doubt, you can feel the difference there is, and that is pretty. That's the the main upgrade you want to make. You want to go to PC. PC is so much better, and that's what prompted me to go to PC. I thought, you know, this actually is better. Um, but I could play on PS4. I bet you after, like, if I was playing the game regularly, like, if I was playing on PS4, I'll get used to it, and you can confirm and stuff on there. It's good enough. It's um, the only thing about PS4 is it just it feels slow, man. Like it, the loading time is slow. The game just feels like slow. It, it feels a lot better on PC. <coughs> so PC is PC is the upgrade you want. And if you want to go extreme, then get a monitor. And you don't have to get a mad monitor. Like a 165, 240 is kind of cheap. I just. I just like to I like to just have the best of everything where I can. So like I'd rather wait to get what I want rather than than um, get something that's like not what I want. Yeah, this is this is a little bit of the the misconception is is that people think oh I'll buy a monitor and buy a PC and I'll be a hit confirmed god. That's not the case. The um, to be good at hit confirms you've got to practice hit confirms and it takes so long. Like I remember when I started getting good at hit confirms. And even now, like I have to, pra I have to practice. I mean, if I haven't played for ages and I try and hit confirm, I can't hit confirm. I have to get my head back in the game, practice, practice, practice. 